the drum. These very drum ass head shakes. I might. Yeah, it's a drum. It's a big croaker. It's a snapper. What the? Oh my god, dude, wait. What is that? What's going on guys, Adam Lucy, welcome back to another video on Moving Weight Fishing. In this video, me and my good buddy CJ are going back in the river. We're going to be fishing for black drum, sheep's head, redfish, pretty much anything that bites, but those are the three main species we're going for today. We might do a catch and cook, I don't know yet, we'll see, but stay tuned, let's hop right into the video. It's a nice fish. Feels like a nice sheep. Oh yeah. He was nibbling on it and then he came back one time for the little thump. Not a bad one. All right guys, second sheep in the morning here. Look at those teeth, those are gnarly. You don't want to get bit by those things. Um, hooked him right in the corner of the mouth there. It's not a bad one. He's getting to eat, I'll tell you that. I'll throw him in the cooler. A little bit bigger. All right, CJ just got a bite, so we're gonna get right back to it. A nice fish. He is, dude. Now look at those head shakes. A big drum. Don't we get the net? Yeah, probably. Get oh, right here. Oh, oh he wow. did not wow. like. He did not, not like the net, boys. Like He's a little scarred up from being just so big and raggedy. Oh, oh, there he is, boys. There he is. In and out of the net first night. All right, guys. So we just got bit in the rod holder there. Look at that little hook right there. Wow. Hear him drumming? Hear him drumming? That's so cool. That's a nice one. That is a nice one, dude. Hold him up. How big do you think he is? 12 pounds. Probably just close to 12, yeah. Let him go. You want a picture? I can take a picture with the camera. You hear him drumming? Oh my god, that's so sick. Alright guys, that was sick. The drum. These very drum-ass head shakes. I might. Yeah, it's a drum. It's a big croaker. It's a snapper. What the? That's a unit of a croaker. Holy smokes! Are we smoke? Are we keeping it? What is that? Is that a grunt? It's that. Is that a freshwater drum? Dude, I do not know. I have no idea what I just caught. I've never seen this in my life. It looks like a walleye. All right guys, as you saw from my GoPro footage, I just caught a fish I've never seen in my life. I've been fishing for 16 years. CJ's been fishing for 22 years. We've never seen this fish. Fishing out the caught, womb. Yeah, we're, like, I was fishing out the womb. Never seen this fish in my life. Just, all right, look at this thing. It, it literally, it grunts like a croaker. It, um, it feels like, I just, I don't know, dude. It's so strong, too, like, he fought, look at, he's so powerful. And it, the face looks like a trout. He literally looks like a barramundi. I don't know if you guys know what those are. But he's so strong. Look at him crunching. You hear that? Look at his, dude. Yeah. It's not, look at, and look at that fin. That literally looks like a triple tail fin. Or it almost looks like that barramundi fin, doesn't it? Here, move your hand. Focusing on the fish really good. The face of a mangrove. But the, the like mouth of a trout almost, right? And he doesn't have teeth like a mangrove. There's no teeth. 
Dude, I, I, it's, I'm literally at loss for words. And he's beautiful. Look at the fins. He's so powerful too. I, we're gonna bring him to the Loxachi River Center, and we're gonna ask him what it is. Maybe we'll put it in their aquarium. I don't know, but we'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're at the River Center now. We got the fish here, and we're gonna ask the ladies what's going on. No one really knows fishes, so we'll see you guys in a minute. This is the broken like window one. What he's in is practically Mostly fresh, so that's not going to make a difference. But we're we're going to keep him in the water that he's in. And then what we'll do is once we figure out what he is and where he should go, like if he's brackish water or fresh water, we'll, um, then we'll acclimate based on the water that we have in our tanks. All right, we have a big net. Gotcha. I don't catch it. So right now she's transferring from salt water back to fresh water. This, this water was kind of brackish, but we think it's fresh water fish. I'm not really sure. Okay, there you go. And then we'll put the water that he came in in here so that that's the water that he's already acclimated to. Alright guys, so we're leaving the river center now. Pretty much, they couldn't identify the fish. We didn't know if it was brackish or salt water. We caught it in kind of brackish water, but then again it was living in salt water. So they're going to acclimate it to the brackish water. And then in, an, in about an hour after the acclimation is complete, they're going to put it in brackish water and see how the fish lives. And then we're going to have some researchers come here and identify the fish. But huge shout out to the river center for letting us come here and do that. That was awesome. We got to watch the pompano eat the shrimp. That was so cool. What's up guys? As you can tell, it's the next day here. I just got off of work and I came over to the river center because I was really curious on what happened to the fish I caught. So I know I didn't do too much explaining yesterday, but I'm going to go inside and the ladies inside are going to tell us what really happened. I'm pretty sure a scientist came here yesterday and examined the fish. I know Aubrey Arrington came over and another PhD did, so we're going to see. Hey, okay, so yesterday we had our lovely friends from fishing headquarters bring us this really awesome fish. Um, took a lot of us to try and identify it. Actually, we had to call our executive director, Albrey Arrington, Dr. Albrey Arrington, to come and help us identify it. Um, it's this guy right here. He is actually a burrow grunt, um, which is a local species, but they're kind of rare to find, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we actually, what we did was we wanted to make sure that he had the right salinity. So what we did was we used our refractometer to check the salinity that they had in their buckets to compare it to our tanks right here. And hopefully he'll have a nice happy life with our other dock piling fish. They're all kind of coordinating up together. So um, Dr. Al Rarington had a little bit of issues trying to identify it. He actually contacted David Snyder, who writes all of our fish ID books to figure out that it was our burrow grunt. That's our fish right there. Look how pretty it is. It looks like a mix between a mangrove snapper, a grunt, and a snook. All right, guys. I think I think we should name him Scotch. I do. Comment below what you guys want to name him. The comment with the most likes is gonna win. So whichever comment gets the most likes, that's his name. We'll come back. We'll do some feeding videos on him. All right guys, here now back in the car. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. It was a really cool learning experience for me because I've never seen anything like that. We didn't discover a new fish species, but it definitely was a very rare fish according to Aubrey Arrington. I will have all of his websites linked in the description below and his Instagram. He has an app actually called Fish Rules app and it has all the regulations on different fish, the size limit of what they have to be, and seasons when you can keep them. So go check out his app, he's a really cool 
guy. Huge shout out to everyone at the Lox Hatchery River Center. A big help there, helped me figure out what type of fish that was, and they were full of knowledge. Everything I asked them, they could answer, so really cool. Got some sweet content coming out soon, guys. I'm super excited for the channel. So please comment below what we should name them. I think it's Skosh. I think someone's gonna comment Skosh and it's gonna get the most likes. That's what I think, but you never know. It could be like, uh, could be Young Panoose. It could be uh, Half Squat. You never, you really, you don't know out here, boys, but. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button on this video. Comment the name below. Please subscribe and make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so it gives you a notification when I upload a new video. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Moving weights out.